This is how I live. I live. This is what I love. Oh. This is all the things that my dreams have been made of. Welcome to my life. This is what I love. This is what the soundtrack to my life is made of. Music love life. Crystal Jordan, be honest in myself, Kevin Davis. We are Music Love Life. And welcome to another episode. Shit like that. Oh. <laughs> wow. It's going to get interesting. Wow. So today's not a good day. Uh, hey, Kevin? Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of. What's wrong with you? I don't know. I'm stressed, man. I got shit going on in my life. What kind of shit do you have going on? Are you sharing? Um, Are you sharing your shit today? Am I sharing my... Well, you know what? You've actually been in, in a little warm Defle- up here. You've deflection. been a little funnier. Oh, and, and he is deflecting. Yeah. Like what do you mean by funny though? Turning to me. Yeah, Chris has been a little funnier. Like She's, a clown. She kind of walked <laughs> in on some. No, just because yeah. I said that your dash, this dashiki that you wore a couple, a couple was it last week or the week before? Still, still feminine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's it. Tried to act like it. I mean, that's what you were you talking said, about because you said you said that you were you were surprised that your voice went really high. Obviously, you know we're learning a lot of things about you that. You know, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> that's, that's so cute. Obviously, Isn't it? yeah. It's, 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 mm, I get it. I get it. So because you've like, always no, you've always said that women aren't funny, and I think Crystal's actually getting funnier. Okay. Well, she's hanging with us close though. It's, so it's true. Yeah, it might be rubbing off. off. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll take it. Whatever. Not. But why? <laughs> why are you stressed? <laughs> and I, why are you stressed, Kevin? Why am I stressed? Why are you stressed, man? <laughs> what can you share with us? Because we want to support you. Because I, I found out my father used to be called Pookie. Again, that's a default nickname. My nickname was Bubbles. Okay. Bubbles. Yeah, it's not a big wow, deal. Like the monkey? Who? No, not like the monkey. Like the monkey. Like the bubble gum. Is that racist? Because I said monkey. About a black person? You're trying to say that I look like yeah, Bubbles it's, it's, is a damn monkey name. Teetering on the edge. No, yeah. Bubbles is definitely a monkey. The most famous Bubbles you know is who? Michael Jackson's first of all, motherfucking it was monkey. Not a bu- first of all, true or false? Okay, you got them no, right. No, but it's right. not because yeah, when, I, right. when I was given That's that accurate. nickname, we didn't. Michael didn't even have bub- Bubbles then. So no. When was this? It was when I was in elementary school. So the bu- the monkey's named after you. Wow. See now, now Even you better. now you have called me. Now you have said I resemble a monkey. No, I didn't. The monkey is very funny because the monkey looks although like a you human. usually try to you know air to your white side, today you have a very urban hairstyle. So <laughs> I'm assuming that you're black today. Actually, this is the blackest I've seen you in quite the a while. No, no, no. What do you mean? Like I'm actually I'm seen as like nah. uh, this is actually a shout man. out to my European and South American brothers because it's, fi- it's FIFA time right now. Yeah. Not European. Yeah, th- you need to that's look. Why, that's what they're that black people everywhere. FIFA, nigga, really? Portuguese. FIFA. Yeah. Shout FIFA. out to FIFA. <laughs> <laughs> it's my FIFA haircut. Shout FIFA. out to Migos okay. and every other. The Migos? Young, yeah, Come every on. other urban artist that's got that hairdo right now. I thought now. you were from the South Pacific. You look like Polynesian. <laughs> okay, that's cool. They play they soccer too. doing the uh, Hawaiian War dance. Some, some big soccer play. They, they play soccer. Everybody plays soccer, man. Soccer players okay. are very World Cup. I'm very attractive. Soccer players are very attractive. And just to let the ladies know, they always have the best legs ever. I have, nice, le- I have nice legs as well. Like, if I wasn't doing this, I'd probably Kevin, be playing soccer. what are you stressed about? Oh, besides Pookie, that's not a reason to be stressed. Okay? Hey, man, Every, look. What was your nickname? Nah, nah, nah. Bugs. Did you have a nickname? Not Pookie. Bugs. Pook. <laughs> right. Why Bugs? Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> they called me. No, you, they got a lot of roaches. I went by, I went by bugs. You are just racially profiling everybody. <laughs> what? Today. So roaches? Right. 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 Roaches? Now. Roaches are a black roaches thing now. So why do you have like, roaches? You know what? Did no, you white see? People definitely have roaches. She no, said, "No, no, no." Real, house, uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta. Kim Zolciak accused Nene of Oop. having roaches, and the white woman on the show accused the, the black. So woman that's of because it's racist. And the survey did. Prove that people felt like that was a racist statement. Like black people in the ghetto have. Are we race. really going about the survey? The people who watch Atlanta Housewives. Don't the, you don't come don't on, come man. For an entire demographic beyond all they don't like the Beehive, though, nigga. You safe. <laughs> right. <laughs> what are they going to do? <laughs> what twenty five people going to show up? <laughs> it's not twenty five. That's actually the highest rating. Uh, the highest rated Housewives on Bravo is the, the highest rated Housewives. Yeah, man. Yeah. You, you gonna, your name will be mud with women forty seven and older. Oh, <laughs> they are on a roll. Today. Ratchet ass yeah. forty seven year olds. Right. Day. All the glamours is going to hate your ass. <laughs> right. Oh, God. 
it ain't always no, it so ain't. sexist and no. in here. No. It's all good, though. Kevin's not going to share what's wrong with him. He did. He said it's a multitude, but but Pookie, I'm sorry, man. Like, if you find, like, do you know, what's your parents' nickname? I don't know my father's nickname. His name is Denny, but I don't know his nickname. I'm I'm certain that, that he had one. But you don't you don't know what his friends called him no, in the streets. I don't. Like Pookie sound like such a stereotype. Like, was he a black man? I'm guessing he was a black man. I don't okay. know any white Pookies. I've never. So I'm saying. So what's the big deal? Yeah, there's definitely no white Pookies. But no. I'm just so you know. So usually I would expect the whole tip to be excited about you know having a a father that supported the. You know, that's, that's it. There's nothing wrong with Pookie. There's nothing wrong with that. Now, you're bougie when it comes to names, but you're hotep when Damn. it comes to policy, right? Pookie. I'm like, yo, Pookie is not exactly... So he's not a good Negro. Pookies aren't good Negroes. Is that what you're saying? Couldn't have been. That's, Who see, that's, you, who's good the named Pookie? has <laughs> changed sides name, today. name for me a good Pookie. I don't know Go. any Pookies. Chris Rock. Crackhead. That is, I just think names, I, so I guess Peaches, what else? What other nicknames are beneath you? Peaches is pretty bad, too, though. Peaches, Duchess. All of those, Duchess. Ter all of those a, terrible nice names name. that black Poo -poo. people get. All the Shaquayquays, the... So all you of those. actually are racially profiling your own yes. people, Hotel. You mean racially profiling? You are saying, you are assuming because a person's name is... Urban Shaquay, you actually said Shaquay Quay. I said Quay Quay. That's that's right. You you gotta pick a side, sir. What do you, you mean can't pick be, a side? One day you can't be the whole tip that stands up for our culture, and the next day you throw jabs at people that come from a different. Okay. Well, that may have not went to college okay, and so, have the same upbringing as you. So you're trying to tell me that there's nothing that black people have ever done <laughs> that you haven't been embarrassed about? I'm not a whole tap. Am you, I? you don't have to be a whole tap to be accuse, embarrassed about accuse, some shit. You accuse me You mean me tell me there's never Sunday. been? No. Okay, have you ever worked? Have you ever worked? In, in an office you and a person being, you accuse and another me black woman not. showed up wearing a headscarf? I say that? that all the time. You accuse me of being like the whites. And now you, sir. That doesn't make you lack the whites. It does because you I, I will have several other problem. things that make you no, lack the well, whites. You're like the whites today because you don't have you a problem with Pookie. Oh, God. Why and do black people always do this? <laughs> you are the one that's supposed to stand up for black people and everything uh -huh. because that's you're the resident hotel. But you're, you what are mean, really. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. See, there's a difference. You can't be embarrassed about Pookie. So, but Kevin, are, would you can Okay, so you're a hotel. Would you consider yourself to. Do hoteps represent African Americans and black people or do they not see a difference between that? Are you um, a bougie hotel? Uh, well y'all y'all called me a hotel. Y'all who I, I don't black people? No, you two. Oh, me and me and Crystal. You're right. You two called me a hotel. So are you denouncing hotepism? <laughs> on the air? What is hotepism? With no warning to your brethren? You really ought to, oh, you, right. your followers yeah, yeah, are going to be I'm really gonna upset. Be... This is going to go in the show notes, I can oh. guarantee you right now. Do you now. need to check with somebody before you do this? Do I? I think he's a leader. You're don't you have a, aren't you the leader of a, <laughs> of, a, of a movement? Answer to no one. You're about to be excommunicated, you, probably. You know what? Let's don't, I don't want to do it because he's, he's making decisions and he's not thinking on that. He's emotional it right must now. Be he's, and I don't understand why you're stressed because you have a necklace of hickeys. So that, that, was, that would suggest that you should be- Maybe that's why he's lightheaded. Maybe that's what it is. He's lost too much. The blood's been sucked away from his brain. Uh, I would all, think that would make you all in the bruises on his yeah. neck now. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I would think out of everybody, I you have a hickey on my penis too. Huh? I have a hickey on my penis too. If that makes you feel better, that's weird. The blood. You have a has that's been like a contusion. <laughs> that's kind of weird. Does that help you? That's awkward. Okay. Damn. You're welcome. Does I don't that know. sound like? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not sure how to proceed. Other than let's just move on. I I I, don't know. I think he wanted to, he wanted to shut it down, so he he thought that that would do it. So. But that that is even. That is the, the issue That's is painful. not pooky. It's a so contusion. you're clearly not into vanilla sex. What the hell? How does one get a hickey on their penis? A lot wait. of a lot of pressure. <laughs> a lot of pressure. <laughs> a lot. What's of wrong? Pressure. Wait, wait. Vanilla sex. Yes. What, by vanilla, do you mean white? Or no. What, what do you normal. mean by vanilla? No, just like yeah. vanilla is like, like normal. Like obviously, you're yeah. into some stuff that 
other You're in this like some BDSM, like she not, punches I've you I've never your... put a, cont- a, a bruise, because right. that's what a hickey that's is, a, hickey is, a bruise. Is, yeah. A bruise on a penis. You know how long it takes to get a hickey so that, you know, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, you're not, you're, not you're not a fair-skinned fella. So I would assume it would take less time to make a hickey on, be honest, but yeah, a hickey so. on you takes a lot of time, effort, and suction. So I'm just saying that is a lot going on, but maybe that's... You're not into vanilla stuff. That's cool, man. If y'all freaky, that's cool. Well, be I, freaky. I ain't, I ain't embarrassed about that. I know, well, I just but... want to embarrass you. We're just, and you, said, you were the one that said you have a, 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 a bruise you on your penis. Up. So, hey, man. When that turns black, it's going to be awful, though. Like, right now, it's probably still reddish, because, like, the ones on your neck are reddish. I wonder if mm-hmm. there's, like, veins. Like, does that mean a vein has bursted? What does that mean? I don't know, but what if it stops filling up correctly? Because that's how the whole, that's how the contra- the, the thing works. You know what think, I'm saying? Ladies, I don't, I don't the know. The way the contraption works is it fills with blood, and that's how it becomes hard. <laughs> <laughs> but, I'm thinking, I really want to look this up, because I think when you have a bruise, that means that some veins have burst. And I don't know yeah, that veins that's... should burst in a penis. Let's <laughs> Let's just look it up. Let's look it <laughs> She's up. actually looking mm, this up. Right. If you're not watching us, Crystal is on her phone for the first I'm going time. To Google. For the first time today, which is great because usually it's more than the first time already. Mm-hmm. But anyway, so. So we're going to find out. Hold, like, just give me a second, guys, because this is happening in real time. Dun, 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 dun. When you dun, get dun, a, dun, when dun. you have a bruise. Dun, 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 dun. Because we want to find out exactly. We're trying what, to figure out that the health concerns that may, you know what I'm saying, we may be. Right, I'm dealing with I'm here. sure you don't want me to pass out. Yeah. Is that the only place? I mean, do you want to disclose anything else? Okay, I got it. Okay, yeah. when you when this occurs, blood from the ruptured capillary, capillary. small blood vessels right. near the skin surface escape by leaking out under the skin. Ah. With no place to go, the blood gets trapped, forming a red or purplish mark. Uh oh, that doesn't sound as no, it doesn't. Sexy. It's not, not sexy no more. Do you oh, have wow. any anal anal hickeys? Nah. Bruises. I mean, you know, yeah. any bruising at all back there? Yeah. <laughs> None there. Any swelling or? Yeah. Okay. I mean, right. you know, you don't want to get there, bro. I would just hope that whatever happened to cause that suck the stress out because it seems like there was a lot of sucking going on. It's trapped though. It has so nowhere I, to go. It so has it's, nowhere to go. The stress is trapped under his skin. And now it's all here with us. I'm sorry. Right. Hope that don't get lumped up. Lump lump. <laughs> Will it lump lump? Uh, I hope your capillaries heal. <laughs> right. My cap. <laughs> so like, how with, thoughtful? Okay, so okay, so if, if the contraption works like this, if blood fills it up and it gets hard, so is that part still hard and the rest of it is like soft? Uh, we don't like kind of like kind of like a bad implant. Ew, <laughs> ew, ew. <laughs> like a bad booty implant. Oh, <laughs> where that God. one piece is still hard and the rest of it just jiggled. Oh, <laughs> ew. It's getting worse. Yeah. I have seen some terrible implants. Yeah, yeah there are yeah. some bad ones. Penis implants? No, no I don't know. No, no, I'm no. talking. I've never seen a penis implant. Uh, my, I have a friend. I won't say his name. He has a penis implant. I would be scared. And he said that lots of guys have them, and they add three inches. So, ladies, what? You may want to if you have some issues, because I do think out. that you know what I think. I'm just going to give you guys some penis implants. Really? I think that. All, I think that men should have that, something on them externally that lets you know what they're working with. And if it's not up what do you mean to by, code, what do you, mean by you mean tell me you actually know someone that ordered one of them little yeah. devices from them No, they went and actually had a, had a penis. This is actually implant. inside the actual them. implant. Oh, oh so it's not like a bike pump? No. Was it a Groupon? I don't think so. No. He spent about five grand on it. Wow. He had to fly to a different country? No. No, happened in New York. Ooh. Five but, grand for three inches? Hey, it's worth it. Three inches is a lot. Depends on what he had before. Three inches is a if lot. If he only had two, <laughs> he still only had five. So. <laughs> but I'm just saying it's a lot when it comes to, I mean, that's, you know, comparatively. Anyway. No, don't anyway. That's like what he did. They can't you, grow, though. I like it, what do you mean they can't it, grow? It, it can't. Because an implant when, can't when, change, right? Right. When the penis been, fills with with blood, yeah. then it expands. It, well, how does how would the implant expand? The implant does not expand. It is in the it is in the shaft, and I guess everything around it expands. So is it three inches in girth or in length? In length. That doesn't make any sense. He's right. I don't. I don't. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Well, is it at the very end? Would like me to pull this. it up on Instagram? I mean, on on Google because is there, is there a dick doctor? A dick doctor, comment no, but below. We probably could have one come in, but I, I mean, this is a very popular surgery among. I don't know that. I don't, no, I don't, I don't know, know that many guys are doing that. No, I don't. I will just say among a certain group of people. What does that mean? A group of people. I'm just saying, a group of people. You talking about like gay people? 
I hate you. What? Well, yeah, that's my what she friend means. that did it is, is gay? gay, and he said that that's very there. That a lot of gay guys are size queens. Yeah, because I don't see any heterosexual males like you know what. <laughs> you know what I think I need <laughs> to do? get my penis sliced. <laughs> but can I say that a lot of heterosexual males may need to? Lots of, at least from the from the comments that I hear. Well, mm. I, I can't speak for them. I I know God made me perfect. Everybody here is well endowed. I didn't say that. I said God made me perfect. Mm, okay. I'm just a regular dude, man. I'm just a regular guy. You just said that you were... Uh, sure didn't. Yes, you did. You just told us that you were extremely good looking. You were oh, no, I am. That's off. regular, though. Your fe- <laughs> God made me perfect. We're Why are perfect. you upset? We're all perfect in his image. Sure. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah, but I... What else is going on? That's that's You just blew my mind with that. About the penis implant? With him. Yeah, him, yeah him. His his revelation. Or, his re- I mean, his reveal and then your reveal that you know a lot of dudes that have... Gay guys, yeah. Mm. Hey man Now I also know That there are extenders This just turned into a weird it, I just have to give this The rest of this information okay. There are right. extenders <laughs> And a, a guy can put on his erect penis On the end of it? extender No yes. sir and I mean no man condom what? on top of it Yes That's ridiculous How do it you happens. feel anything? So first of all It's, it's like a, a selfie stick for your dick First of all you're using a condom So you're not going to feel anything anyway Well most people use condoms I don't But it's because you're married No I wouldn't if I didn't If I wasn't Who married Who are you talking about? I would not use condoms if I wasn't married What's the point? You're not actually having sex. You're not even. You're not you having. You are having you're, sex. You're not touching anything. That's like you're not touching it. What are you talking about? <laughs> you're actually. If you've never. If you're a. Vir- if you have never had sex without a condom, you're a virgin. You've never touched pussy. It's the truth. Okay, so it's the, the truth. You is, might as well just so masturbate. Technically, it's masturbation. Is it's, that what you're saying? That's what it is. It's, it's, it's helped. It's uh. What is it? Guided masturbation. That's, that's arguable, I think, actually. I don't think it is. Okay, so let me explain the extender. There's nothing wrong with it. I think that that's a guy There's that wants There's nothing wrong his, with it? No, I think it's a guy that, mm. that knows he doesn't... He, can't respect it. I respect it. He, can, he can't what? He can't please his woman, so he wants to Get please Get a new her. woman. All vaginas are not the same. Some Get of them are too big. Get a new woman. Some of what them if are, you keep running into the same problem and you realize it's you? Then you need to move to a different country. Koreans, Koreans, you told me right. that Koreans' bodies are different. I don't know that... For sure, I heard that from a Korean. You are very friend. sure about it. No, but I haven't day. experienced the Korean Anatomically, situation. Anatomically, Koreans are different. They're built different. That's yes, what you told but me. I don't know that for sure. Sh- I I can't. I cannot confirm nor deny. I'm just sharing information. So that's what he should do. He shouldn't go out there and, and put a, a a cap on it. What is that? But if that makes the if so, it, it it increases the pleasure for the woman. Why shouldn't he? You should. Everybody should be about pleasing their partner. Obviously, Kevin is. Well, majority of women, <laughs> not majority, a lot of women do not even orgasm from internal sex. That's true, but a lot, but but it still doesn't. You got to know your right. woman. Well, you got to know your woman. What, you, you it doesn't be, feel right. Like there's too much space around for it. A while. You may be looking for a while if you're looking for somebody that. Anyway, I'm just is not even on topic. I'm you. You brought it up. You brought I know, this up I just too. To right. Share the extender because you guys act like implants were so crazy. Which with dick implants? Yeah. I mean, they're crazy. I even know a implants guy that are got crazy on women. When men start to get implants, it's it's totally implants are not crazy. You know on a, women. a guy that got a pump like because of erectile dysfunction? I don't know what. Totally he had, different. But I found it. That's totally di- you. Found even it. guys that do the the pec pump uh, implants and all that, like. Mm. Oh, you're saying like a, a, a penis pump, like the it's one not, that sits on the outside. I thought you meant yeah. one that they install no, inside. No, no, no. I didn't know about that. Pump I was going to say like a, like a blood your balls pressure. Push your ball. Like a blood pressure machine. Yeah, like <laughs> on your balls. It, it makes it hard. And then oh. when you get ready, you <laughs> and it goes, I'm not joking. I'm serious. <laughs> what is happening today? <laughs> we, we're talking about hey. we're talking about Kevin's bruised dick. And it went, <laughs> it went left. Left. And if you need a little help with your dick, here are some options for you. I we did get an email, okay, a listener email. So I guess I can go ahead and read that to, to kind of get us out of the okay. out of the muck. Segway. <laughs> uh, it says uh, this is from Britt Renee. This may be long winded, but I will try to keep it as short as possible. I like be honest on the show. <laughs> The amazing end. that you started that you started with it. You could not wait. Is, is it there? You text us to make sure. Is that it you, there? I, just come on with it. <clears throat> I like be honest on the show. Period. <laughs> 
I don't see anything. Let me see where it says Chris Tory Kevin. Just nope. keep- I don't see where it says that she likes Chris Tory Kevin. Okay. I like being honest on the show. Yeah, he may say some stuff that you might not dare say out loud, but that's the beauty of it. Once you figure out when he's trolling and when he's being serious, you'll get it. Even if he says something in a mean way, I'm usually agreeing. <laughs> I do agree that it was... Do you know this person? I do agree that... No, I don't. I do agree that it was... I mean, I know them through the shows. Mm -hmm. I do agree that it was whack for Jay and Beyonce to drop the album when they did. Pettiness at its finest. I have a lot to say about Beyonce, and I don't think it comes out the way it is in my head. I think she is a great performer, but she is not the greatest, and I certainly don't put her up on a pedestal like the the Beehive. Sorry, Kevin. She did mention you. At this point, I feel she is trying too hard. To do what? I'm not sure. But this album was weak. Uh, I don't like this I'm hard persona Beyonce is trying to pull off. She's been in the game too long to just change up to a crapper. I mean rapper. I also didn't like the, the vibe from most of the tracks we are on, shitting on you and better than you. I hope they don't do any more duo albums and I hope Jay comes out with one more banging album and stops after that. Stop while you're on top. Don't keep going until you phase out. He's a businessman. Keep making business moves and stay on top that way. Beyonce has, hmm, Beyonce has Jay-Z, which leads me to the next party of... The, the next part of the discussion, Rihanna. Just like you said on the show, Rihanna is just herself and doesn't have a name tied to her. She may not have the money that Beyonce does, but she has, has her own makeup line and her own lingerie line. She's making moves on her own, and I truly feel that the perception with her is, is her own pers- person and not bothered by any, anyone else. Side note, I now feel Nicki Minaj is trying way too hard with these recent pictures covers. Clearly, she is chasing you-know-who. Mm-hmm. As for XXX Tentacion topic, yeah. I'm not going to touch on history or anything like that. I don't know him nor his life. What I do know is that it's horrible that society rather get views and likes over helping someone. It reminds me of that episode of Black Mirror when they drugged the woman, uh, drugged the woman, erased her short-term memory, and have people following her with their camera phones, etc. I can't shake the visual of him sitting in his car. My sister showed me that video without me realizing what it was, and it broke my heart and disturbed me. Attention is one hell of a drug. The things people do for it. Humanity is missing and it's sad. I make it a point that when I go on a date or visit with people, etc., I put my phone away. Society lives, breathes, eats, and shits their cell phones and social media. Sorry for the long-winded email, but I had to touch on those things. Keep up the great work. I love listening to y'all every week. Britt Renee. Yay. Aww. Thank you, Britt. First of all, thank I you, like thank her. You, I agreed with everything she said. Do you said, like Be Honest too? The fact that Do you like Be Honest too? I don't know about that. I do like be honest, but I think sometimes you take it way too far. I think I've you've yet to see the be- farthest. Okay. The farthest. Well, that just I mean, we we probably got into it a little early. Well, that might have been me. I've just, you know, earlier it was a little bit far. But I think sometimes you push it. I was I was out yesterday and I went to I went to the lake to write. And there was a wedding. That sounds poetic. It was. It was very beautiful. That's where I text you guys the pictures of the rafting, the river yeah, rafting. You had a muse. Yeah. So I was out there getting inspiration and I saw a Mexican wedding mm. and I could not even enjoy it because... Because you saw the bad bodies. No, I didn't. I didn't see bad bodies. I saw beautiful people enjoying... Must have been a marriage. young wedding. <laughs> no, actually it was not. Actually it was an, it was an um, abuela. Abuela. Yeah. Mm, grandma. Yeah. And and uh, I don't know the term for a grandpa. I was it, the only reason I knew that it was grandma because someone was saying abuela, abuela. They were taking pictures, but it was beautiful. And you know, you're 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 very harsh and untrue. Uh, you think philosophy? Yeah, I mean, it was mm-hmm. they, everyone looked great. Everybody looked great. Everybody so looked did you great. get close enough? I was close. Yes, okay. I did. Yeah, I could be wrong. I mean, everything I say is hundred percent accurate. You there you go. But <laughs> where, the, the places I've been. Well, you, you know, you haven't seen, been everywhere. You I haven't have been not everywhere. been everywhere. So let's just. But Brit Renee, we that. we do appreciate your. Yeah, email. that was really cool, and I we definitely Thank agree you. with all the the Beyonce and Jay Z stuff. I didn't like. I I like the album, but I don't. I can say I don't like the idea, and I don't think they're the only people that do it. But I think that our culture, like, you can't help each other, and we can't uplift each other if we're constantly pointing out, "I'm better than you." Just so you know. This is how I do it, and I'm better than you. And it's just, to me, like, I know that, you know, hip-hop has a history of that, but I think that sometimes that's all we get. And it's, it's just like, how about just uplifting someone, give them, put them on some, to some game without showing them how ridiculously far 
from success they are compared to you. And I'm kind of just over that. We know that you guys are successful. We love the fact that you have a beautiful family, but constantly showing everybody else up. And I guess it's them against the world, but I just think it's a little bit, it's, it's just kind of played out to me. I don't know about the constantly showing everybody else up. Cause like, what do you, what do you expect Michael Jordan to do? Lose? Uh, no, you expect him to I, win. That's, that's you, not, that's not what I'm saying. You can win, but you can win. You can have, um, good sports, just good uh, sportsmanship and great conduct. You don't have to be an asshole to be a winner. I don't think. I'm not saying they're being assholes. I'm just saying Michael Jordan. You know, you don't. You can win without. You can win with integrity. You don't have to win by pointing out. Okay, the score says 50 to 20. Okay, we know that. You don't have to just point it out. Hey, over here we score 50 and you score 20. We get it. We know. It's cool. Mm, I don't know. I, I feel like some of the some of the braggadocious stuff. Is I mean that's part of the persona that we've come to enjoy, and um, you don't think it's a little far, a little a little too much though. Like I'm not like I'm not offended by it. I mean I'm not offended by it, but it is. If somebody it's say if, if by somebody it, just, busts their ass over. and they win or they do a good job, I'm not offended that they say yeah I did a good job. I killed that shit. It's different saying I killed that shit and saying I killed that shit. By the way, you ain't gonna kill that shit because you only do this and I do. Th- your, I mean, that, your that's, grandkids will never have money. Yeah, that's that's taking it too far. But, <laughs> see, I mean, she didn't say that. She and see, my grandkids have. I feel like I feel like all the negativity can be is implied, right? But that's, like if that's I say I'm the best, that don't mean that I'm saying that you the worst. No, but I'm they, saying it doesn't I'm say the that. Best. That that's mm. not that's not what it says. That's not what it says. Over here, you're not rich unless everybody around you is rich. That's not saying I'm rich or I'm wealthy. That's saying that, guess what? You guys thought you were rich, but you're not. I'm giving you a new definition. And guess who fits the definition? Me, not you. In fact, no one you know fits it. It's just us. Ah, well, Kevin, America does what, you, what you just said was oh, complete now bullshit. He's, now he's you, said, to oh. you said by you saying you're the best, you're not saying that I'm not the best. You absolutely are. There's, the best is there's only one of. Yeah, we I both can't you be say best. You're the best, but I I have a problem. How so? We can't both be best. No, Why not? That's not best. Is Why not? Best With, is a qualifier. No, best is a status. We both it's can't not a be qualifier. best. Why can't you be the best? The word itself, best, is the last one of. You could be the best. <laughs> That's not possible. We can't both be best. <laughs> not, Why not? not possible. You got five best friends, don't you? You can't have five. No, I don't f- Men don't have best friends. Yeah, look, you got five besties. Got best. We got five homies. Best These are my day ones. We got, got, how men don't have best have? friends. How many day ones you have? I got a gang of day ones. BFFs. A that's gang cute. of them. And you know what? They the best. They're all besties. I know. Yo, that's my squad, man. I take. I oh, pick no. them against anybody. That's how. That's how you're supposed to be with yours. Right. Yo, over here, we shutting shit down. Y'all are all I don't know what y'all doing rich. over there, but y'all over here we rich. killing shit. Y'all yeah. are all rich. I know. No, I right. get I get it. There's this idea that you're supposed to, as a, as a black person, you're supposed to be okay with somebody high signing. Don't on let you. nobody talk down about your shit. What? You just said it that okay. Here, what? It, it's such a catch twenty two. I mean not a catch it's such a it's such bullshit though. The whole bravado. Yeah. Is, no. the, 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 you're supposed it's, to it's also why most a lot of a lot of people, and I won't just say African American, I think this is the attitude of everybody right now, is like very, very braggadocious. And then people that people are looking at that stuff and seeing it and thinking, oh my God, I'm supposed to be here. And if I'm not, I'm not good. I'm not the best. And there's something wrong with that. When you don't know Everybody is just is 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 bullshit. Is is just bullshit all across. There's I, no way. I will say this. I do think that there is power in you not saying that you're the best, but other people saying that you're the best. That's all that Britt was saying. But Jay Z and Beyonce are saying it constantly. They won't let people forget. Just in no. case we didn't know. To me, that means that they're kind of insecure, actually. I don't know about that. I it's think a weird just... in a weird way. Like they need people to say it. Like I need y'all to say I'm the best because Rihanna still got more hits than me. <laughs> right. uh. I want and I don't. I, I do want to say that I don't know that Rihanna is grossing that much less than Beyonce. Rihanna. So remember, remember how I it. gave you credit earlier about not being on your phone? Like you haven't put it down. But I'm trying to find this this post for our next no, topic. So that's, literally, I'm while you were reading the email, she was on her phone about, the entire time. Yeah, I purposely time. make it a point I'm to put down find, my phone. And <laughs> I'm trying to find this quote because I want to. Share it, but you guys are pissing me off. So oh, here we go. It's, it's our fault. It's the guy's oh, fault. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're the best, Crystal. I yeah. know. 
I am. <laughs> that means only me, and not we, the two of And you. we said it, so that means it's more. It gives you more status. Okay, I'm gonna put. I was trying to look for this this post that we were gonna talk about, but I'll I'll just kind of paraphrase. I wanted to read it directly, but okay. we'll paraphrase. Okay. 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 Oh, we're ready to do it now. I mean, you you the one who what? you stopped the show. Okay, I didn't. I was explaining because Kevin tried. Would you to like for me and Kevin to have a conversation while you find everything? I'm good. All right. Here's here's the topic: forgiveness. Right. Uh oh. So. Ah. Exactly. Jawar shouts out to Jawar. What's up, Jawar? Um, posted. Do men have? I can't remember the exact. I'm paraphrasing because I can't. Does Jawar listen to the show? Phone. I think so. Sometimes, maybe he's a good friend. He's a friend of the show. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I, know, I know Jawar. He's yeah. a cool We're guy. Shout him good out. Guy. But, but I can't. I haven't can't even go said. Unsaid. This, I haven't even said. What Sometimes the, Jawar panders a little bit. I haven't even said what the post said. Don't start <laughs> that. I already know. Be honest. I'm. I already know. He that's, said I smell a pander. That's I, the homie. But sometimes Jawar has a tendency. To pander a this little is not bit. A, pander. a lot of people on the question. internet pander, though. This is a, but a lot of panders. Okay, that, that may be true. Proceed. This is a question. Do men are men how do, are men able to forgive as well as as well as women? And I said, okay, hold on. I'm sorry, Jawar. Yeah. I apologize. No pander Thank whatsoever you. You in were that just question. Out of line. I, w- just, I wasn't just... out of line because sometimes <laughs> Jawar, you do pander. But but why even bring that up? And if you had if you hadn't listened all the way to the because I post. like to be right. I like to be first. Well, you're not. <laughs> you're not the best today. Be honest. You're not. I'm the best. still the best. But no. Go ahead. So the so basically there was a conversation and there were a lot of guys that actually acknowledged that they have a hard time forgiving and that and I I actually said that a lot of times. It seems like guys get their heart broken one time really bad. And it's over. And they never get over that. There was Everyone like, how else do people, will pay. How did guys get over things? And, and so I was like, they never get over it. They just go from woman to woman to woman. And they get into a new relationship and they're happy, but they're, they're never really over that. And they don't really... So the person that they're with doesn't really get the full total them because they... St- they kind of hold that part back. They've learned, this hurts, I'm going to hold that back. And I said, where well, women actually... <laughs> go through a lot and they women do forgive better but they they do forgive better cuz there, there's I've talked to more older men that that will tell you that they they messed up with their first wife they still love her but they have moved on and they are they are, they look like they're over it but if you bring it up they still have you know they that hurt is still there there was one guy on there that acknowledged he was still hurt over a girl that hurt him at eight, 18 I heard that a lot 18, 21, I was in college, she did this, it's like, you're 50. What's happening? So are you saying, so I feel like the hidden question in there is who heals emotionally yeah. better? Men do not. It would definitely be women. So I'm asking you guys, do you have a hard time getting over things? But I did say this, I think that it makes sense that men have real heartbreak that breaks them and they don't go, They, they it changes them, and then they don't do it again, where women... Just we just keep hitting our head against a stone. It seems women to be like, "Oh, he broke my heart." Maybe it wasn't that bad. Oh, he broke my heart. Maybe the women don't. Maybe the women. No, it is that bad. I don't know. I can say as a woman, maybe women ain't shit. And hmm. well, y'all are weird as. I don't think that. Well, I think if you've gotten your heart broke before, Mm -hmm. you it's it is. I think it is difficult to fall in love the same. Like you don't fall as easy. But women, you don't just. "Ah." I know women that that. Again, it's like we just did this. You just did this. So, um, I was waiting, but I I can't hold this back. I was gonna try. I was trying to figure out a nice way to say it because you know because of the email, the listener email about <laughs> saying things mean. But there's no way to say this nicely. So men, yes, will punish every woman. Yes. Forever. Yes. Women. Will punish that dude forever. Yeah, they won't forgive. Yeah. They never forgive. I know. Wh- I see. Oh. No, women punish that dude for eternity. They stay with him. You and stay with him. him. Yeah. You don't forgive him ever, yeah. and you just make him pay just a little bit at a time, either by <sighs> cheating on him behind his back or taking some money and taking some of the money and putting it aside like you got your emergency. That's not cheating. That's just being smart. No, that's called stealing. No, it's not. Yeah, if, it if you live in a house with someone, it's not stealing. Stealing. No, it's not. You should let somebody know you're putting money to the side. No, for you a- shouldn't. That's just being smart. Women, put your coins to the side. Mm-hmm. My granny Women told me that. Women do not forgive. That is a lie that you just made up. I don't agree with that. I no. don't agree. Women do forgive. Now, I'm saying, now I will agree that women don't get over things. A woman will stay in love with that person and still, you know, be pining over that person where men move on. 
I think. I don't think men are pining over anyone. But I, I and and the reason I think that women don't um, heal, well, men don't heal at all. But the reason that women don't get over it is because men rarely give you an opportunity to really get over it. In order to get over it, the person who, who hurt you has to take responsibility for that. And a lot of times men won't. Do you know Future's lyrics, if she catch me cheating, I will never tell her sorry? That causes you to, to stay in that hurtful place. Did you just quote Future? I did. Right. I did. So is he like, okay. I'm I, just saying like that, that, that idea, don't act like men don't flip things around. And don't always... Women don't flip things around? No. Flipping what? You was the one. Let me stop. Oh, See? Oh, <laughs> That's exactly how it happened right no, there. No, 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 no. But I'm just saying men, a man will cheat on a woman and then will be like, well, I'm sorry I messed up. Are you going you know, to get, get over it or not? And when, and when that, when he flips the situation, now it's her responsibility to get over it. It is. And she, and she says, yes, that doesn't take the pain away. He is supposed to help her get over that pain. He did it. If you shoot me, then you say, hey, you're down there on the ground. You're bleeding. Clean up that blood and get on with yourself. What kind I mean, of bullshit is that? How long are you going to bleed? Just let her bleed. I mean, I'm trying to get up. It's taking me a while. I'm really hurt. You should be helping me because you did it. So the question is, do men or women forgive? Who forgives? And is that, What's the, the original who question? Who heals? Who gets over it? Mm. I think no women one ev- do. No one ever yeah. heals. That's not true. No, what, are you too ta- many, what are you saying? Because uh, as much as I want to say, because women are more emotionally intelligent than men. Yes, thank right? you. Right? Across the board, I right. think. Um, there, When you come across a man that is emotionally intelligent, it's kind of like, damn, okay, this person kind of gets it. Is he gay? Like, so I kind of get it? Is he gay? On occasion. Is he off gay? and on. Am I gay? That's what I'm saying. Like, That's what you think. Like maybe. He's like gay. I would say Will Smith is an emotionally intelligent yeah. man who yeah. I would consider not gay. Right. Yeah. All right. Um, but it's a unicorn. Hey, okay. But even <laughs> even still, I don't know that people I, I don't know that either of those hurt people, men or women, can really like I can forgive someone mm-hmm. easy. Mm-hmm. But forget. Well, I don't think you should forget, but you forget. I can't forget. I think women actually studies have shown that women, if you get it out, you can deal with it. But if Nobody you bury forgives. it, I don't believe that. That is not true. Nobody forgives. Have you forgiven God your forgives. ex? I don't. Yes, until she does something else, and then it's right back. That's what I'm saying. Nobody ever forgets. That's because you're a man. No, I'm not. Listen, this is the thing, right? You're gonna say, okay. What I you have say? Forgiven. What you say is forgive, right? But if there ever is an opportunity for them she to still do, resents your to do something similar to no. that again, mm-hmm. you don't you don't start over with a with a mad. But if you stay you connect, with that person, you do. Hold on, no, no, you don't. Because if they do something to you again, you connect that first mad to mm-hmm. the new mad. That's not forgiving. No human has this ability. There is no human that has it unless there's something wrong with them mentally. Like they have Alzheimer's or something. You can't forgive. You you are gonna always go by history. You're always going to. So how do you Move on from an infraction. You never do. <laughs> you <laughs> never do. Hopefully, you just don't have. That's why so you. Hopefully, have, you don't hurt people that you are with. And and to me, if you're no, the other way around, hope you don't get hurt. Because then you're it's ne- you're never going to get over it. Right. But what if you hurt the person and you don't mean it? Meh. Eh. Eh. That's the other side. Mm. The, the what I'm saying is you is can that, regret it. I think that's hell. Regret, I, th- I yeah. think regret and guilt. I know they say hell is a place, you know, in the ground and there's fire. Or they say it's non existent. No, I think walking around, I think walking around with those feelings of of regret, like I could have, I didn't, I'm I'm guilty. I think that's hell in itself. I don't. I regret some stuff and I'm okay with it. You have to learn to live with regrets. Jay Z said that. Well, you know, he said it. Before he was bougie. He's best. I mean, that's just slapping. Best, the, let's just practices. be. Let's just be for real. That's slapping a bandaid on it. You might move on to a new relationship, right? You you didn't got married to another person. You didn't had kids with another person. You didn't had a whole nother life with this person, right? Mm-hmm. And you might be totally fulfilled with your new life, right? But you still, in the back of your mind, you still think about that one person or that relationship that didn't go right, and you'd be like. I, I wonder don't know if, if and everybody it does. could have been. And I don't know sadly, I think does. sometimes that the you may have thought you forgave that person, but right. the new person does something that's similar and, and it brings you, it up. You mm-hmm. connect, you connect that that what they did. Oh, you are gonna probably do this now because that person yeah. did that. 
There's you not, know, it's impossible. And and dudes are notorious for paying. Like the new dude is always paying for the mistakes of the last dude. But you just be honest, just acknowledge that men punish. They they go into it like I'm going to take advantage of this person because of how I was taken advantage of. And women do too. Mm-hmm. I, think money, less, I think less women do because women Ooh, actually get nah, caught up. Women are it, it's so, the thing to do with women now. I think women are catching up. We're tired of it. So we're starting to act like men. So spiteful. Got you. Yeah, well, we had to do mm. something. Y'all were winning and we had to even We the are score. still winning. It's not, you're, you're not. never going to get equal. It's no, never you're not because we're able to There do. are more of you guys and y'all are still the minority. Look at that for a second. <laughs> <sighs> it's okay. Black girl magic is catching up. There's absolutely no such thing as black girl magic. We're, we're if there ever were sisters. a lie, if there ever were a lie, it's that black girls are magic. That's true. That black girls are magic. Show me some proof of this. I'm sure you have proof of it every night. Show when you go me to bed. some proof of this magic. You have proof of it every night when you go to bed. You have proof of it around your neck. <laughs> <laughs> That's that not ain't magic. magic. That's a damn bruise. No, it's magic. She it's magical. Got 25 it, I, bruises. I give you magic. science, but it ain't magic. He's talking magic. I want to know how right he knows now. the work on Anybody my Anybody who let somebody put a bruise on their penis was experiencing a magical moment. I don't know about magic. He might just be, he might be the sub. He admitted it's not vanilla. He might have had a, a ball in his mouth, like the little strap around, and a mask where his eyes were covered and shit. You know I have a friend that does that, and men pay big money for it. <laughs> Hey, men pay big money. Hey, look, I'm in good company. He's acting like he's rolling his eyes like that's not possible. But dude, you know, I'm just saying. But that's magic. I don't know. Forgiveness is a joke. It always get what? It it always get publicized though. Like when they talk about forgiveness, like oh the you remember during the Trump rally when the black guy got punched by the white dude. And then he shook his hand in court like he forgave him. He was very courageous. And eh, it's baloney, man. There's no such thing as forgiveness. I'm sorry. I don't, I, you guys, oh my God. I don't believe that. I think there, if there's a such thing as love. <laughs> oh, man. I will never forgive you. If there's a, if there's such thing as love, there's a such thing as forgiveness. That's not true. Because you know what? Even in a relationship with anyone, be it your children, your parents, people are going to do things. It may not even be as bad as infidelity that hurt you. You have to be able to get over it. Yes, get over it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But that's not forgiving. It is forgiving. Mm-hmm. If you give it over, it forgiving is forgiving. Sounds it might be per- healing. Forgiving sounds permanent, and that's not what happens. Well, maybe you heal. I, I mean, if it's potato, potato. But if you heal from it, that means you don't hold that person hostage to what they did. Mm. But they, but I feel like if I, for me, if I hurt someone, say, you know, I cheated on my husband, right? And he found out and was hurt, but, but was open to staying in the relationship. I think it would be my responsibility to make him feel secure in the relationship. So yes. even if I had to go above and beyond, yeah. I would, long? I would have to inconvenience myself to me. To, and, until How long he are you was, do it? Until he was... Two years? Five years? Until he, it depends on the infraction. It depends on the infraction. Is there anything that's unforgivable? Yeah, well, I think then there what is about a, that. There is a thing that's un- then you just what if, leave. What if someone? What if you were with someone that had a child on you? I would leave. I wouldn't even try to forgive. I'm not going to be able to. I'm I'm too petty to no. even try that. I'm good on that. Eh, eh. I'm out. Done. I have broken up Absolutely with someone. I stopped dating someone that had a child and didn't tell me about the kid. Like, oh, there's a kid. It, it was there before I got there, but I didn't know about it. I'm good. I can't do this. Yeah. yeah. Well. Kids on the way. Yeah, I'm out of here. Newborn baby. I don't want to be here. Yeah. yeah. But if you had a kid on me. I'm just be like, you know what? Make sure you put in the show notes that you hate children. I don't hate children. I just don't. If a man cheats on me and has a child, that's a reminder every time I look at that child that he had that affair. And I don't. You said before, a man had a child before you. Uh, Music Love Life, episode 32, 33. Crystal hates children. I do not hate children. He had his kid before you. But it was a little one and he didn't tell me about it. Because I think that you should. should No disclosure. Yeah. it's You need to tell a person if they have. How many. If I told a guy I have two children. And it was like a couple of months. But he didn't tell me about the child. I've known you 60 days, and you think you're going to know everything about me? Children. Did you know about his bank account, too? If I didn't care about his bank account. But if you tell me I have one child. Did you know about his his medical history? If you're a liar and you tell me you have one child and really you have two, that's a huge huge issue. Why did he tell you you had one and not two? Because he didn't want to tell me because the the one was new. I would like to think nobody lies about two kids. I know a guy that lied about a whole five-year-old. As opposed to half of one? No, I'm just saying he didn't. Right. He, he 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 said he had three kids and he had four, and it was one. Yeah, and the, see, and the child was. I can five. see somebody like, lying a about a, about four kids. Did the kid not live near him or something? And like, there was no way you were ever going to meet that kid. Like, here's the thing: I don't know. Well, this guy that I was dating, 
the kid was on the way. The lady was pregnant and the kid was on the way. So he didn't tell me about that. What if you're not going to make it? I didn't. No, but what if you weren't anyway? I didn't. What if it was just a smash? It, 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 there was run. no smashing. I'm not saying that you did. Yeah. We were dating, but when he told me, oh, I have something to tell you, I have a new be- newborn on the well, a baby on the way. Mm-hmm. I was just like, well, you know, that's well, awesome. Then he, told, he told you then. We can be friends. So he did tell you. But it was after... He had told me he had one. He didn't tell me anything about this. Okay, but he, so he did tell you. So now it's coming out. Really, he did tell you. You just weren't cool with there. it. Well, the baby was Kevin, there when he told me. No. Did, did she catch him or did he, she just said, first she of just said like, that he, he forthcoming but it was, late. was forthcoming with the information. It was late and he, didn't, he, he misrepresented himself. Mm. Anyway. I think, he, I think he was accurate about how many kids he had at wait, some how, point. W- when, was the, when was the newborn coming? When, when should the child... I don't arrived. remember, but I think he told me after the baby was already here, but it was very, very new. And then he was like, I didn't tell you because he, and he said, I didn't tell you because I thought that you would stop seeing me. And You, I, see, you seem upset. I think you did smash. I didn't smash. What body was he? What body? What number? Shut up. I didn't smash. But <laughs> the point is he, he knew that by telling me that there was a possibility that I would not stay. So he knew he was wrong. So he he intentionally omitted information to keep me from making the correct decision. Why didn't you just do some black girl magic and poof his baby away? Anyway, that's not how it works. How does it work? It only works for career. <laughs> it only work? works for our bank account and our careers. Bank account? I know yeah. some broke ass black girl. What is it? That's black magic. <laughs> just black, not black girl, but just you know black what? magic. Cheers. You know what? I'm just saying. Anyway. It's a lot of broke ass women to my black girl magic. Y'all need to well, I'm, but it, black girl magic applies to how we're able to um, surpass our counterparts. Who are your counterparts? What? You. Black guys? What? Yeah. You see this now? We are. What? It's coming are out. Are you serious? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't, please don't send an email saying, Crystals, I'm not. I'm not. It's too late, but, right? No. Black I will women never are doing her. amazing things with their careers. We're I taking the world I will never forgive Crystal. I'll never forget this. I'm okay with that. It's unforgivable. I'm okay with that. It's true. Black women are doing amazing things in their careers, but not Thank all you. of them. Most of them. No, no, not most. Half. What? No, half. not even half. No. Half. No. Sisters, rise up. No. Rise up. Black women, half of black women are, half of anybody is not doing it. Black women, but we're but we are the biggest group how of is, entrepreneurs. But how is growing. your how is your magic <laughs> rooted in the oppression of your counterparts? Did you hear the statue? That sounds, I'm yeah, not I'm I'm mad mad. Like, well, Our silly. counterparts should catch up. We're the biggest growing group catch of entrepreneurs. Up. We are. We're we're opening businesses at a faster rate. Than I anyone guarantee else. you, my favorite people, mm. the Mexicans, are by far, by far. Do you need me to go back to Google? <laughs> sure. Black women are the, the. It better not be a black enterprise. It better be a real. <sighs> It better be a real journalistic. Black enterprise, by the way. No, black wait, enterprise. Wait, is you good. saying you saying it got to be a, a, a traditional media? No, is black. That what you... I'm just joking. Black enterprise is good, oh, but it can't. Is, is but that, it, is that what you're trying to say? woken up. Oh, here he's back. He's, he's back. He's back. <laughs> I just don't want to be like. Um, I just call spades. What is that? Was that hip hop? What hip hop or whatever? Like you know, what I'm saying it can't be that. It got to be something like for real. Black women are not the, the highest growing entrepreneur class, I don't believe. I'm pulling it up. I'm pretty sure about that. I bet your baby hair it ain't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> women's e news. Uh uh-uh, uh, that's mm. not so reliable. <laughs> <laughs> the women is in the name. No, nothing from Madame Wa. <laughs> Nothing from y'all, Madame Noir. Well, who else would be? Nothing oh, from Derek oh, Jackson. Oh, black women entrepreneurs, feed spot, Forbes. Forbes. Okay, we'll, we'll go with Forbes. If there's a Forbes, it better be Forbes.com. Not no Forbes, IE.com. No, it's Forbes.com. Forbeshit.com. It can't be that big. Pandermag.com. Right. That's not true, Crystal. Stop it. It is true. It isn't true. It is true. And, and it's you okay. Know what? I need people to, to write in. There are some amazing black women in business. Absolutely. However, it has nothing to do with the We're magic. The it's just about going to damn group. school and working hard like everybody else. It's not magic. It is magic. It's not. It's putting one foot in front of the other. Well, and- no, it's not magic. It's just that we're dope. The fast fortune. How about that? Oh, yeah. Fortune. Fortune. Are we good with fortune? Fortune what? I mean, resumes fortune. I've seen, I'm dope on it. Right. I'm just dope. No, we but who? Is, yeah. it, that's an op-ed. I just looked at it. Don't give me no op-ed. It's got to be a, a real article. Of dope. It is an article. No, it's an op-ed. You know it is, and you the know what an op-ed is. is. Listen to this. No, the, Crystal. You know it's an op-ed. It's not. It really see. is not. The fastest growing group of entrepreneurs in America. What's it that? Is what's not. that in blue? What does it say there? Careers. Okay, let's see. It says careers. Seriously. What does it say? But who's the person? 
well, it just shows that it's African American women. And then it says the number of businesses owned by African American women grew 322% since 1997, making black females the fastest growing group of entrepreneurs in the United States. It's well, just planted by the Russians. What year? <laughs> what year was that? <laughs> It's the Russians. See, when you're right, men can't <laughs> handle it. Counterintelligence. They're not, they're, they can't handle us. They come I'm up telling with you, it's COINTEL Pro, man. They're trying to divide come us. Come on, come on with it. Y'all, it's COINTEL Pro. That's hate. You all should be, you all should be mm. happy. You I am so happy. happy. And be like, it's you know so what? magical. My sisters hey, are just doing I their thing. I celebrate yeah. all successes, but 322 percent. That's not ego. 322 percent. Those are facts. Those are rational facts. But 322 percent is because y'all wasn't doing shit in 96. <laughs> in 96 What are you all doing In 96 y'all wasn't doing shit Where are you all at I don't know Is he? Prison <laughs> Wow right. That's why I said Wow Exactly she, rah, 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 rah. And she looked Prison. at you When she said that She said I, I did this to that. you Right I, I did this to Yo, you Yo <laughs> I'm telling you man That's why I said I didn't want to say that All of that magic no. Is rooted in black male's oppression And that's not fair Oh my god That's not I'm fair This is a Prison. This is a strong eye roll a strong eye roll. I didn't even want to say <laughs> that, but you all forced you me didn't, to. We, you didn't want to say you it? You forced mm-hmm. me to say it. No, seriously, there are some. Right. I, I don't believe that. Black men are awesome. Don't Please don't send any emails. Please don't. I don't want an email. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yes. African American women. Mm, the comments Fastest on this Fastest growing one. group of entrepreneurs. Wait till you, YouTube get a hold of this. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you'll... I'm sure you'll pull this plug. Right. I'm sure you will. Wow. Will. Chris, I'm, I'm appalled. Really? Yeah. Oh, know. wow. Wait, she's, you offended? she's pleased. You know, you said too much offensive shit to be offended. No, now. I can be offended just like anybody else. It's hypocritical, though. Man. Oh, I've never said anything about black girl magic being uh, illusion. You just said there was get a it true. illusion. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay, so everybody is talking about these kids being separated mm-hmm. at the border, mm-hmm. right? People are trying to cross the border. And they're catching them and and taking the adults and going one way and taking the kids and putting them in shelters like old Walmarts and shit like that. Right. Conspiracy theorists have been saying that Walmarts were going to be used for I detention centers anyway. I like, saw that. That's so, so weird. You know, Where'd that come from? It's funny because y'all, y'all be shitting on the hoteps, but... A lot of hotel shit been right. What is that right? A lot. Which, which part? A lot of conspiracy. Which part? Shit the Walmart has been coming. They're not using through. WalMarts. That's a lie. That okay. So where where are the kids now? They're the, not in Walmart. The, the, I, I thought they the were in jail. Center, what you were trying to tell me that them shits didn't even exist. They don't. No. You, you think it's all a media trick? No, it is propaganda. All all of it. But I but don't don't start with me because you're not gonna like what I have to say. So y'all talk mm. amongst yourselves. The 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 people that that. Follow the whatever the mainstream idea is. Mm-hmm. You know the guys, the people that hear what the the narrative is going to be and say, okay, yeah, that's it. That's our narrative. It's sensationalism, but I, I mean, I don't know. I'm not going to lie. I, I've seen so much about it that I'm not, and I'm not sure. I don't think any of us really know. We're just commenting, and we know that certain touch points get people emotional. When so when you say children are ripped apart from their parents, it is that's a that's something that's going to obviously draw emotion, right? Right. Um, do I? Do I? Obviously, I don't agree with that. That's horrible. If you know, but I don't exactly understand what's happening. But I do think that's horrible. Now, the 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 issue is so. Tr- I guess Trump signed legislation saying the children should not be taken away from the parents. First the, of all, the first one I was saying two pre- three presidents. He's the first one who did this. Yeah, I'm just saying. So were, was this not the way that things were handled when sure other was. presidents were in including office, including your boy? Don't do that. So. so, but why are we so? So this is an outcry now. That's what I'm saying. You know it's just sensationalism, and I well, know why. Well, I, and I think Trump may have walked into. I can't believe I just said his name. Damn it! Oh my! <laughs> You're Damn it. it back. Your, your hickey's lighting up. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> if he may have inadvertently walked into it as well, because if if this was a practice that was held by previous presidents were mm-hmm. like this was going on before he got there. Right. Right. But he amped up about immigration and the wall. Right. The wall in particular. Right. He's still talking about it actually. Right. <laughs> so I agree with the wall, but that's why he gets a lot of a lot of flack for it. Okay. Are you so saying, in my opinion. How or, would how would you feel if I told you guys that Obama also tried to end this and got sued by the appellate court? 
and they went right back I'm to willing, them separating parents. I'm willing to kids. to believe you because they tried to stop a lot of things that Obama did. No, 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 no. See, stop At that shit. every point. What I'm saying every is... Every time he turned around, no, there was a white man you, saying, no, you no, missed, no. You missed, and oh my you missed the point. The point is, is that this is, by law, what is supposed to happen when people get arrested for coming across the border. That's the law. Obama tried to stop it as well. However, he got sued. Well, not him. The country, the, the government got sued by the appellate court that put it in place. So it is, then became double down on it because this is what the law actually is. Right. So what Trump is saying is, this shit is stupid. I don't want kids separated from their, their parents. Right. Change the damn law. Right. But he can't do anything. This is probably going to get, it's going to get done again because it's the law. The court has no choice but to sue because it's the law. A president can't just assign that off. Yeah. It's the law. The law needs to be changed. So Bush wouldn't do it. Obama didn't push it. Now Trump is actually going to probably push it and he's probably going to get the law changed. But y'all are still going to be like, oh no, Trump is, this is Trump separating kids from their, from their parents. Not the case. Let me ask you another question. That's how the presidency works. Let me ask you another it question. Is, you the man in charge. But, no. but, but you can't be you can't be you can't be that be your your commentary when it's a president you don't like, but that not be your commentary when it's a president that you do. And that's the problem. And that's that's my issue with a lot of things. It's like, okay, when Obama d- has a situation, we say, "Oh, they won't let him fix it. It's not his fault." I actually, there were a lot of a lot of African Americans that were unhappy with Obama in in, in presidency. To me, you can't make people happy ever. It's right. always going to be people right. angry, and the media feeds caters to that to probably keep us off of the focus on stuff that really is important that we need to be concerned about. All right, but I, give you I that. am t- like the constant weekly uprising, social media driven uprisings are a little bit ridiculous because people see stuff on social media. It could be something that happened years ago. Like this is something that's been going on. A lot on. of those pictures are from the Obama time period. And it's, of the kids uh, and, in cages. And people are all assigning it to Trump. And it's like, ah, we we just, that's why I, I say less because if I don't know all the facts, and most people don't. Most people are just, just, just. Can I ask you guys a question? Mm-hmm. And Kevin, I'm going to direct it to you, but Crystal, please feel free to chime in. All right. What would you have them do with the kids and the parents? What would I do with the kids and the parents? They, matter of fact, if they're trying to come back here, why don't we just send them back to Mexico where they were? Great, but guess what? You know how many of them were? Like, I'm not going to even waste money keeping you captive and all that. I'm going to just... Right. You know, okay. Yo, you go in the, the truck. But, no, you but, go in the van. Sounds and like the a vans, wall. I got a van leaving every thirty minutes. A uh, van going where? Going back. How much but money does that cost? That sounds like a wall. That's, that, but that's our money, though. Hold on. You're telling taxpayer money needs now to fund fuel and vans, maintenance, and all that upkeep to mm-hmm. start taking these people back. So that's more money that we have to spend on taking back somebody from another country. That's your plan? Yeah, I think. That's or you it. mean just like turn around and let them walk back? Because they walked here. They didn't get a van here. No, no, no. Take them back far. So, yeah. <laughs> but that costs a lot of money. Would you agree with that? Okay, yeah. Fuck it. We just spend money, more money? We spend money anyway. Okay. Money How much are we going to spend on this wall? Well, but the wall is done. Once we pay it, you know what I'm saying? They're not getting in here. Here's another thing, right? As bad as it may seem that they're saying, oh, they're separating people, guess what people in Mexico are doing? What? They're apprehensive now. They're like, you know what? They splitting up families. We're not going no more. Right. We're going to stay here because I don't want to be separated from my family. But guess what? That's where the fuck you should be. At home. That's where you live. <laughs> oh, god. That's where you're from. What? Am I wrong? I mean, I don't... I think that this country was built on people coming here from other countries to get a better life. So I think that Europeans did it. I mean, we didn't. African Americans didn't come here to no, get yes, life. No, yes, we did. No, we did. We did not. Yes, we did. You have you ever been outside of this country? It's fucked up for black people in other places. It it's is. not so it fucked is. up for you. Yeah, but we didn't volunteer to get. Out I didn't of say boats. you volunteered, yeah, but that's you came what, here. That's for, all I'm saying. I, we did not. Hey, we, we did not choose. There are not stories stretch the range. in Africa of us. Stretch, stretch no. the range out. The further you stretch this range out, you'll see. Oh man, I got a pretty good life now. I'm I didn't choose to come here. I'm not saying that's the case. You don't have a pretty good life. I, no, no, no. Con, the context of that is, is totally... Hold on, it sounds Kanye-ish. Yeah. This is my thing. I said that people 
from other countries have come here uh-huh. to find a better life. Including Except black people. Afri- no, That's not true. we have not. Do you know how many Africans live in this country now who came here after slavery Africans, was over? Africans, not African Americans. Are- That's different. Uh, okay, first of yeah. all, what the hell's the difference? The difference is I did not come from Africa. I was I, I was, was born where'd you come in from? America. I was born in America uh-huh. from slavery. That's how I I'm got an here. Okay, see, but, but born you, were, in America. you were born in America. You're adding from slavery because it means something, but it doesn't really That's, mean but, but, anything. But in my point, it does. Listen to my point. Okay. Let, me, let me to finish. Okay. Now, yes, Afri- people have come here to find a better life. Europeans started it. Britons came over. Every except the Native Americans, everyone else has come here to find to follow their dream or to do better off their family. Right. So for me to say that I don't think that Mexicans should be able to come, I think that's not fair. I don't I think that however we do this and however we decide who comes into the country and who is able to get citizenship should be fair across the board. What we do know is that it's not fair for people that are, are brown brown people. It's not the same. But I don't we think We don't that- know that. That's, you just made that up right now, too. We do know that. How do we, we know have, that? Because we see the difference when... when Tell me the difference, because I'm telling you right now that people who are from Europe also come here and get the same treatment. A girl just was running in Canada. She ran by mistake over the line, a white girl. She ran over the U.S. line. She got deported, not even deported. She got detained and was taken two miles, I mean, two hours south of the border where she was held for like 12 days. Okay, she because was held for 12 days. Do you, but that is not, do you know that some No, no, you're not listening, you're not listening, you're not listening. She went to a jail facility mm-hmm. for 12 days for just running in mm-hmm. jogging gear. Mm-hmm. But they're like, you're not supposed to be here. She thought they were going to just put her back on the other side. No, they right. didn't. They arrested her. Mm-hmm. She wasn't with a kid though, so there was no way to separate anybody. The point I'm trying to make is that you're just assuming that Lighter skinned immigrants that are treated the same. Right. That just says white people of... just don't need to be jogging at night. You what? need to look where the hell you're going. See what we got? Okay. This is, this okay. is no, I'm, I, it's I, not I, fair. I, I, the I, argument I, isn't fair if you're not <laughs> using facts. Well, you, you don't know that white uh, white immigrants aren't being treated the same way. I, you know what? I guarantee you, I'll do some research and come back next week because we know that this history has this country has a history of treating. Colored, darker colored people mm-hmm. differently. Yeah. There are people, Asians get different treatment than mm-hmm. Africans do. That's just, oh, you mean the ones that. that come here in shipping containers and are still under in under our control? I mean, how they came here is is on them. But I'm saying you're just you're just saying family. things because it sounds cute for that that the no, narrative. I'm not. No, I'm, it's not. That doesn't sound cute for it the does, narrative. You're not being realistic that 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 America not, welcomes. It, the, the darker your skin is, the harder it is. You know for how you many get- white, fair-skinned, sex traffic Russians there are in this country right now. Stop it with the stop it with the one-side narrative. Well, you Everybody have, to, you have gets- to acknowledge that that there is there is there no, is no, no, no. Tell, tell me more that, about tell me more about the, Atlanta the, the, the is Russian actually, sex traffic. A- Atlanta game. is actually the hub of child sex trafficked people. Did you know that? I did know that. Yeah, and I they're not all brown skin. I did know that. I did know that. Well, actually, brown skin wouldn't go for as high a dollar. Bam! That's what it, there is. It's equal on some sides, but what we fail to do is we fail to give any any power or any weight to when it happens to other people because it just doesn't fit the narrative. It but doesn't sound as good. So, okay. are you saying that I'm two wrongs that. make a right? I'm not, okay. but I'm saying you have to keep the same weight if we're going to have a real conversation about this. I agree we can't with just you. We have to keep hurt. the same weight, but yeah. we do have to acknowledge. I agree. I agree. There's a lot of there's a lot of sensationalism. There's a lot of pandering. There's a lot of emotional you know manipulation from the media for different reasons. But I do think that we have to acknowledge certain things. Well, let me so, tell you what's worse. Let me tell you what's worse. Okay. To me. Because Mexicans are not Americans. Mm-hmm. Yet. Mm-hmm. Yet. I'll tell you what's worse. To me, child protective services is far worse than what's happening to these Mexicans at the border. I agree. Hey, I mean, I don't know if you know much about the child protective service thing, mm-hmm. but a lot of bullshit happens yeah, to... a lot of kids get... Yo, but you can't just all lives matter. No, 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 no. I was talking about black kids. Coming across and was, they, well, what I, about everybody else? No, we're I, talking about the immigrants. I was talking about black but kids, talking and I'm talking about, about Americans. You're talking right. about somebody who doesn't even, is not even supposed to be here. Why hasn't Mexico stepped up and like, hey, we're our bad. Let's come get these people. If we don't want them to be separated, let's come get our people. No, they're not doing that. But what I'm saying is we're not even... We are we need to address the, the American shit. we have going on. Like, if, if your mom dies and your sister is taking care of you and she's doing a really good job and then they say nah she's not really qualified We're gonna put to put her in that. a foster care and then with who knows that, what happens in yeah. a foster care like child protective services is far worse than yeah. what's happened the Mexican the Mexican immigrants that are, from what I've seen and what I've heard after you get past all the cages and shit they're being fed better than our school our school kids are being fed the school lunches suck ass in America but Mexican immigrants are getting actual real food fresh food and our kids are eating that square ass pizza remember that pizza <laughs> 
Yeah, that pizza. Was I, you, remember, you remember the, I, you remember the when mashed I was a potatoes? Kid, that pizza was good. You remember the mashed potatoes that you, you could hold on? To that pizza. What about the mashed potatoes? The mashed potatoes you could hold on one finger and it just balanced. Yeah, that was yeah, something. it's not good. Nobody I agree, ate that but I think I think steak, that, none of that most people don't want to deal with reality. They want to get excited about things they see without doing the research. That's so what I'm saying. I don't know the research. What I do know from being a writer and being a member of the media is that people pick media picks, and it's probably a deeper conspiracy than just media picks what topics we're going to be upset about and what topics we're going to be passionate about. I agree. There are children in child protective services that end up falling through the system, being brutalized by foster. It's all kinds of horrible things that happen. But those those are those topics aren't provocative. Those topics aren't going to get people up in arms and 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 acting a fool emotionally online. And so we ignore them. It's just like when kids are killed all the t- kidnapped or whatever, but when a certain child is killed media decides we're going to highlight this story. Mm -hmm. So I'm definitely saying that I get that we're being emotionally manipulated. But in that manipulation, you have to realize there are certain things. There are too many, like, for instance, the the Black Lives Matter. There are too many young black men, I think, that that should not. There's just a boy that was killed the other day. Wrong. Am I saying that it's not? Am I saying that there's not other people that are killed by police? No. But I'm acknowledging that there is an issue with African-American young men in particular and the police. Now, I'm not saying that there are not other issues, but we have to acknowledge when certain things, I think there are a lot of issues against women. The Me Too movement has definitely been taken out of proportion. And I think I want to say that I feel a lot of women are doing us a disservice because for so long, women in this country have fought so many battles. And when you get so many women that are lying, and it, it just it it takes away the 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 true validity of the of the argument. Right. But in all that, we have to acknowledge this is happening. But are there a lot of women lying? Happening? Yes, but there are women are treated as lesser citizens. In oh the no, 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 no. I, I I agree. What you're right. what, what? But the point that you're making is not the point I'm making about the immigrate the immigrate situation at the border. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you that what you're seeing is bullshit. I'm right. not saying that oh there are other people happening. That's just some, the child protective thing is what y'all kind of forced me into to kind of put some weight on it. What I'm saying is is that those pictures are bullshit. Right. That's not the the accurate picture. People crying on TV, Rachel Maddow. That's all bullshit. That's just to make this this whole thing of a. a uh, it's a it's a nut house. This um, all happened under Obama and Bush. This right. is not matter of fact. If Kevin, if you were to go with your kids to Mexico and you got arrested going there, you're getting separated from your kids. No matter what country you go to, they're not going to put your kids in right. jail with you. Right. It's not going to happen. That's never ever the policy in any country. So why are we making it like a big? Oh my God, they're separating. They're supposed to separate them. What no, the hell else would you do with them? No, no, they're not. No, they're not. Let's just be for real. They're not. You're not supposed to separate children from from, from their parents, even right? if they're arrested. It's, yes. That when have you have you ever, have you ever seen anybody get arrested because they don't let the kids wrong, and the parents go it's together? It's wrong for children to be separated for their parents. That's part of the reason why black people have so many problems now because no, the no, family no, no. structure. Stay has been your ass in down. Mexico. No, if no, you no, are, no, If you no, don't want to no. be arrested and Matter separated, fact, stay in Mexico. Here's a little tidbit. Here's a little tidbit. We about to do this bullshit again. Here we go. Yeah. Here's a little tidbit. This history outrage hurt. Guess shit That you had nothing to do with. You don't have. You have no connection to slavery. None. Oh, I but don't. here you are. You don't. I don't. You have none. You okay. never. How? When have you ever right. broken your back to work somewhere? Ever? That's not true. So, That's not true. When? They're, they're when not. have you ever? Nah, my connect, nah, no, no, my nah, connection. Nah. Th- things are there's there are physical studies. connection. Of course, there physical, is. Yeah. There is a okay. spiritual connection. Not spiritual. Yeah. Qu- there's genetic connection. genetic connection. Right. Okay. But physically. We are the softest as I agree. I'm not saying generation that that's not of, true. of black people. Give me a break, man. Yeah. We have not right, had let me it give tough you a break. Like let me give you a break because okay. you was going for a second. Okay. So I'll stop. What 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 happened was George Washington, mm-hmm. the the first president. Nigga, what are we talking founder. about, man? Can we talk about listen, something? Since listen, listen for a moment. Goddamn. Right. Okay. All right, so here's what it is. Right. George Washington. Uh-huh. Right. Is documented for having sold slave children. And separating them from their parents. Right. So this is what they, and, and you're right in that regards where this is th- that is the policy, right? Mm-hmm. What we're saying is the policy is wrong. Bullshit. You okay. cannot we're arrest saying that kids. The policy is wrong across. I don't care who's doing it across the globe. It's wrong. So we're supposed to lock up parents with their kids in the jail cell, and that means that if they're rapists or whatever kind of dudes with your kids, they just gonna have to be right well, beside I, your I, kids. That would be. I think that That's would be more man. humane than anything else. Okay. Nigga, no, please. no, 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 no. I, I think, I think that, in my opinion, 
And again, I don't know all the information, but treating people who are just trying to come into the country as criminals is a problem. So maybe they could, I don't, I'm not sure, like I said, I don't have the information, but I do know that someone that is looking to come into a country to better their life should not be treated like a rapist or a robber or a murderer. They should not be treated the same. Are they being treated the same though? I I said, I don't know. But what I do know is that when a person is arrested, when a person is arrested, they're separated. They're sometimes children in the car. They're often taken to child protective services. But that is because a person is arrested doing something that's considered a criminal. Even if it's a traffic ticket and you have a warrant out, that's considered a criminal Crystal, act. Crystal, can I ask you a gone, question? Yeah. Okay. Man, this is... So it's crossing the border a criminal yes. act? I, that's, I don't yes. think it is. That, let, that's my Crystal, point. I don't think you should be question. treated like a criminal for trying to come into a country. Let me ask you a question. Yes. If I owned a, a apartment complex that mm-hmm. had you just pay your rent and right. when you get there you get free water, free electricity, right. we give you cable, whatever. Right. I own that complex, right? Right. Or a high rise. You sneak in and start living in one of the units. You are stealing. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. There is absolutely no difference in that than a person who is not a citizen coming to this country and living tax free. They don't have to pay any of the, the things that we all have to do to, to make this place better for us. They're stealing. That is a crime. That is why it's illegal to come into this country and just exist. It's not like this is it's not like this is far fetched. It's not like this is you don't even want the people to do this, but you're pretending like it is no. because it's emotional. No, but I'm you not. don't want Mexicans here taking away the I mean mm-hmm. actually having the opportunity to benefit from the taxes that you pay out of your check every month. Are well, you- it's, it's funny that you're defending okay. like the, the, the Mexicans who, who have come into your, your apartment complex mm-hmm. and are, are using all your free services defending? when you didn't build any of that. You didn't build that apartment complex. What? You, that's exactly right. Build America ground, was mean, built or? on the backs of slaves. The slaves aren't the only America fucking people that built America. Slaves, that is ridiculous. still don't get to enjoy all of the benefits nigga, of that apartment black complex. Black people are not the only people who work hard to make it America what it is. That is so silly. Well, I'm so sick of hearing that argument. We're the, no, we're the only the ones that don't get, a, get the to enjoy the benefits of it. The, you That's are enjoying benefits is. of America. Uh, You're enjoying benefits of America right now. Not the same right benefits. No, not so the same spite. benefits. Again, this is about spite. It's not about benefits. really an honest conversation, as you see what I'm saying. This is about spite. No, because it's not Kevin about doesn't spite. Feel like it's about he right. Got he doesn't feel like he got right five dollars when everybody else got five dollars. All righty, so we're gonna just table this discussion and Can't figure table out. This, Crystal, you gotta what, finish this. You, one. We, we, well, I'm just saying we have to. We, we no one has stats. We're all going on opinions, and I think your opinion had you have some factual evidence. You have some factual evidence, but at the end of the day, there's more to this whole conversation that probably information is not even privy to us at all. I'd feel like if people are judged the same fairly across the board, things would be different. I don't know what it takes to become a citizen from Mexico, but I, I'm assuming, and this is my assumption, that it's more difficult for people coming from poorer countries to, to get access to become a citizen. Do Why? I think that a lot of... Why, I, Why do you I, feel that way? I, I know a lot of, of, of Mexican-Americans that live here that would love to be here legally, but things are not made possible for them to do that. It's very difficult for them to be able to do that. Trump is being demonized for things that... It could be that there's far worse things happening and we're just not supposed to look at that. But for us to be so upset and and there to be um, another argument about why Trump shouldn't be in office and he's this evil person, it's it's not realistic. So that to me is the main part of this conversation. This is something that our country has been doing for years. Just because it's now a Facebook trending post does not mean that this is, it just started happening. Trump did not introduce this, this policy. And do we need to change it? I definitely think we do. Do I have the answers? I don't. I don't think most people have the answers because that's why it's been going on for so long. But I think before we have a real discussion about it, and especially because we're informing other people, we need to have more facts. On we we are never going to have those facts, listeners. If you listen to this show, it's because you want to hear our opinions. That's why we're here. But there's, there, we'll there, never I have those facts. Opinion. <laughs> but what facts do you need to say that like children are being separated from their parents? Like that's but if that's it, the, but you that's either a, think that's right or no, you think a, it's that's wrong. A, that's, that's a, a fact. slippery slope, though. That is that's a, a fact. slippery it's slope, happening. though, because right. that's, that's but it's a, supposed to be happening. That's a slippery slope, Kevin. Because I can't say when you see a person get arrested, the children are innocent all the time. The children didn't choose to be with their parents. Right. So if if a person goes and robs a bank, an ethnically ambiguous person, because we don't want to get into that, robs a bank. And their kid is in the back seat. They get pulled over because the people think the police 
are suspicious and they find that person is a is a suspect or maybe they find they did rob the bank, they're going to take them to jail. And those kids, those innocent kids are going to be crying. Oh, my daddy, where are you taking? And that's sad. But mm-hmm. but should they go with him to jail? No. No. So I don't know the answer. And I do think Child Protective Services is a problem, which is funny how that came into it because in a situation like that here in America, if a person is arrested, the children automatically go to Child Protective Services if they can't find a spouse I don't even think they release like it a to a parent. Relative. It can't be. A, it can't. It has to be a, a a person that has that's very closely connected. If I'm okay. here in Atlanta, I don't have any family. If I was here with my children, my mother lives in Colorado. They would go to Child Protective Services. I couldn't have my girlfriend that loves my kids no. that knows them. She could Absolutely not get not. them. That's a problem. No matter how good of a parent, she right? Is. No matter how good Here's of a, thing, it has though. to be a close. I think a parent or a spouse, and that's it. Do you guys know? And this is not. A, this is not my opinion. This is a fact. Do you guys know what's happening to the Mexican kids who? Are in those detained centers for a, 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 a period of time. Don't oh. say they eating good. No, like, no, they. We do know that no. there was, that's not there the, was that's the there slaves was a weren't misplaced. That bad argument. They were misplaced. No, they're not misplaced. They're going to foster care. So that sucks because now they're in somebody else's. You know, what I'm saying somebody else is taking care of them. But at the same it doesn't time, speak their language. At the same time, it's still not jail with their parents. Right. And I'm not saying that separating kids is good. Of course, nobody wants kids to be right. separated from their parents. Right. But their parents did commit a crime. And it, if you're going to go with some of the laws, you have to go with all the... You, it, otherwise, you need to change the law. So instead of being upset with me, be upset at the law and then the, start yeah. talking to legislation about changing that law. Because that's what the, that's what people at the border are saying right now. Like, right. y'all mad at us, but to be honest, to this is the some, law. Yeah. Some, and our job is to uphold the law. Of, I just got a job yeah. to do. No, right. see, because then you, you're that, making it seem like you're making you it seem do? like you do. If, if, you everybody has a job to do. A person, I, <laughs> a person that calls you that's a bill collector that everybody hates. That person is doing their job. You get angry when they call you, but they're they're paid to do that. And and the funny thing about it. Americans, we have the luxury of complaining about our government. That's why I was talking to my son and his son about the other day. You have the luxury of saying, I don't like this country. You've never experienced anything else. So it's it's really easy to say, oh, you're doing the wrong thing, but you don't even know why those policies were put in place. No. We don't know if people are coming in here illegally. We don't know that they're good people that are going to contribute in a positive way to, to this country. We don't know that. We don't know anything. So Lots of criminals it's, have kids. It's exactly. It, here and there. So I'm just right. saying there's there's a reason that those policies were put in place. We don't know all the information. It's just like when people get upset about the, you know, conversations with with politics. It's like, why did he do this? This is bad for us. It depends on what side of the coin you're on. Right. Depending on, you know, if you're a person that had, you know, Obamacare, that's a big argument. People that don't have insurance need insurance. So I know a lot of people that had insurance and are doing very well. They're very angry with Obamacare. People that had nothing are are thankful. So it depends on what side of the coin you're on to where your argument is going to lie. With that being said, did anyone hear Tiana Taylor's new, oh, new album? Man, you, I, you know what? I'm having to readdress the entire month of Kanye. Really? Yeah, man. See, I liked it. I thought I did it. With the first couple of songs I listened to, and it got and then, worse and then as it got just, further. It get, and it's, I went back and listened to her other project that you put me on to, and I enjoyed it much better. It's so underwhelming, and you know, it made it made me. First of all, Kevin, I want to say that that argument that we had kind of on air, I, there are no hard feelings. I want the listeners no, no, to know. No, 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 I want no, the no, listeners to no. know that we can disagree right. and even seem angry and still move on. But um, I'm underwhelmed by the entire Kanye month now. Yeah. And I was trying to love it. I thought it. that was going to be the one that took I, us into the promise. And I was waiting on it. I think, yeah. I think I was reserving judgment on the other albums, waiting on that one to just bring it on home. Yeah. Hit the home, the, 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 what is it called? The Grand Slam. Yeah. And it was a letdown. No it, grand it just kind of went everywhere. Why did it go everywhere? I love, it's like this, you're going you're gonna to love me. I love that cut. Yeah. She also has like a gospel song on there that I like. Um, and there's one that's kind of okay, and then it just kind of went to a whole different. So what happened there is 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 Tiana Taylor not that talented? No, it's not Tiana. Because I, I think, listened to yeah. her other project, what I love, whatever producer she worked with on that yeah. project, I listened to that today because yeah. I was listening to her other one, and I was like, no, 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 this is not like the, no. what I heard before. She's dope. The production is all over the place, and I don't know who Kanye is as a producer at this point. Some people are saying now that they're afraid that what he did was all these projects didn't have these beats behind them when the artist left the room. 
Oh no! Because it just there, there's just a there's mm. there's a continuity issue. It like, is. It with is. With Nas is when people started really recognize like yeah. this don't sound like he rapped on that beat. Yeah. Because it doesn't. You oh, know okay. what I'm saying? I didn't know that. I just know that this, this doesn't seem like a cohesive project. I don't know. It. it I didn't. I have a, I have to go back and listen to listen it. Listen to the vocals. Because I married. felt like that about the posthumous Tupac albums. That exactly. Yeah. It was like there was a double disc it Tupac album. A, it was yeah. like what Jazzy Faye was on there. Like Jazzy Faye and Tupac. How that happen? Mm, right. Weird. Yeah. It's kind of weird. Yeah. That doesn't seem like something that happened organically in the studio. If that's right. true, I know that the artists are very disappointed. Yeah. I'm and, sure. But how do you? What do you say? You know what? I saw something where um, Tiana was talking about the fact that people were telling her Kanye didn't have her back because her project, you know, took so long to come out and all this. I re- and, and especially because she's been such a huge contribution to his popularity, you know, as of late. It it really I I didn't I didn't I was saddened by it cuz I expected this one to be the best one. Right. And again, like I said there's a couple of cuts I love. The I best actually, one of hers or of Kanye's month. I, I expected gonna be, this going to be the best, best of, one of the Kanye's month. month. I yes. did. Yes, oh my god. And I thought that because of, I was excited about her because I didn't even know she had put out this other project, but I saw that that one that we listened that you put me onto was released as a mixtape. Right. Which is sad because it's better than this, which is an album. I want to get the name of it dope. because we're just we say that album. Yeah, <laughs> you guys got it. I if you look it up on on, I mean it's dope the entire way through. It it it, it is. It oh, is okay, it's really V I I. So seven or V I I. I don't know. Whatever. I don't know. Look at that. Tiana is, Taylor is, seven. Yeah, it's dope. It's dope. She. I like Tiana Taylor. I think she's a dope artist. Yeah. I think she's dope just all around. She's a personality. She she's, got a banging she's body. Just, her body is ridiculous. I I can definitely say that. I remember yeah. like, why does she? Oh, wow. And she's kind of like she's like ugly cute. Ugh. She's, she's she has she's, a great sex appeal and her body is amazing. No, she's so, sexy. Yeah. She's like, but she's ugly cute. Okay, so yes, I wonder. <laughs> um, I wonder what happened with this. It, it, even but even her like. I like that lane that she was in yeah. with that one. This is just she's like dope. I don't, that's why that's why I'm so let down because I feel like. I feel like this was supposed to be the one, man. It's it supposed was. to be the one that made her career go from right. being all the things that she's been right. in the periphery mm-hmm. to being to tie it an all artist. together. Right, right. And this was her shot. Can and we go back and produce seven? Can we bring that out <sighs> as an album? Because that's a that's that's actually a tragedy for all that to be a mixtape. But you can go to YouTube and listen to the entire thing. She's dope. <laughs> Not this KTSE. Hmm. Yeah. Does that stand for something? I, don't I, didn't even, I didn't even I, investigate. It does. I, mean, I didn't even investigate. That's she how bad. She looks amazing. She looks amazing. And again, it's got some good cuts on there. There's three. There's three. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and that's, that's a stretch, though. Three is a stretch. Because uh, the whole song. I like three. And mm. the songs are super short. Did you notice that, too? Like, it, yeah. It's like two-minute songs. I, I just don't get it. I don't understand. Well, I think Kanye uh, Was is, it premature? Was she just not ready? No. It's been forever. I think it's Kanye. <laughs> I think it's Kanye. I don't, I don't think it's her. I, I'm not going to blame her. I know we want to blame a lot of stuff on Kanye. I just no, it's consistent with all the all albums the projects. he's put out. Yeah, like they're all a little weird, but not weird in a way like he's changing the game. They're weird like the shit is What's just happening? weird. What's happening? It feels bipolar. The continuity is wrong. The co- but yeah. when you look at her, the the seven, it it's dope. So it can't be her. And see, because I, like, I felt like each artist was different. Like I didn't want... I didn't want Nas' album to sound like Pusha T's to right, sound like right, Kid right, Cudi's, right. so well, I wasn't expecting a level of continuity like in anything. that. Nothing sounds right. like anything. Nothing sounds like anything. There's no continuity. And I think anything. a good producer does that, like matches that understands the artist right. and gives you a sound template for you. But it wasn't that. No, Nas' yeah. best songs recently have been with Khaled. Imagine that. I, I think the, person, the only person that won out of this is yeah. Pusha T because you don't think of the whole so? Drake beat. The hip hop song with him and the Scarface. I can do anything. That one, uh, that was dope. The it's everything. Right. The, yeah. the yeah. hip hop song with Scarface. You never. Khaled's great, but mm, I mean, Khaled's not even a producer oh, like, like that. I'm just, I'm just well, saying, you know what song I'm talking it. about. I like the everything record. I just think overall. Yeah, everything was dope. I just think overall. He didn't give an identity to the artist. Like, I don't... Like, when I listen to Seven, I'm like, okay, this is Tiana Taylor. This is dope. This... I'll ask you this, Kevin. Are you... Do you want to go back and listen to any of those albums from this month? Like, are they... Do they have replay value to you? Um, Nas does. Pusha in, in certain moods. Yeah, I feel like I got to be in the mood for Pusha. Right. Um... I haven't gone back. I'll be honest. I have not gone back and listened to Ye or Kid Cudi. What about um, Black Thought? That's not Kanye, though. But then that... Yeah. Oh, sorry. 
That's not Kanye. Yeah, that's that wasn't Kanye. Yeah, that's not Kanye. But even that, I got. I feel like a, I mean, that's that's a little more, a little bit more boom bap. But yeah, I mean, I that's that's a heavy, that's a heavier that. thing. So it's a different reason why I haven't gone back and listened to it yet. But I was really counting on this month to be, and uh, I was trying. I tried Kanye. I was just excited about Tiana because I just, especially when I heard the past, and then I think, okay, this is gonna be what he gets right. Yeah. Just, but you know, hey. Okay, well, I think we. Yeah. Is it is it a uh, full ready. moon or I don't know. Like well, Mercury retrograde, like you like to say right. all the time. <laughs> the Juneteenth didn't help. Juneteenth, what happened? Did a lot you... of people represented for Juneteenth. They you yeah, know, I'm just saying it didn't, it, did, it didn't put us. That, in was, a that yeah. was a highlight. I'll say that was a highlight for the month. Of June. Yeah. Okay. Well, alrighty then. Music love life. See y'all next time. <laughs> <laughs> Music love.